as the world today arms up production and demand for semiconductor chips to bolster humanity's uh, tryst with artificial intelligence, India's space agency ISRO has taken a major stride in technological self-reliance with the development of its own space-grade processor, the Vikram 3201. This journey started three and a half years ago when Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated the India Semiconductor Mission on the 21st of December 2022. It was set up as an independent division within the Digital India Corporation to formulate a comprehensive long-term strategy for developing sustainable semiconductors and display India's manufacturing capabilities. Among other key objectives of this mission was to promote indigenous intellectual property general generation in this field, as well as to enable cutting-edge research. Here's what the Prime Minister had announced for India and its ambitions. of this mission was to promote indigenous intellectual property generation and like i said enable cutting edge research the semiconductor lab in mohali established in 1976 was modernized to a brownfield fabricator and while it has contributed to critical space missions like the mangalyan mission the vikram 3201 is the most advanced semiconductor manufactured by india till date designed and fabricated entirely in our country the 32-bit process has already been flight validated on the PSLV mission. What sets Vikram apart is not the raw speed, but its distinctive performance, the radiation hardened design and reliability under extreme conditions, which is critical for launch vehicle navigation and control. Developed on a 180 nanometer space grade processor at the semiconductor lab in Mohali, it marks India's ability to produce secure sovereign hardware for its space program. Anyway, that's a lot of uh, technical jargon there for our viewers, but we want to really process it down to what this moment means for India. So I'm going to just now quickly go across uh, to our guests. We have with us Mr. Faisal Kabusa, Chief Analyst and Co-Founder at uh, Tech Arc, Mr. Arun Mamfizi, semiconductor professional and author, Dr. Shahid Kohli, economist with us as well. Let me, like I said, bring in Mr. Arun Mamfizi. Mr. Mamfizi, I want to understand from you. Like I said, there was a lot of technical jargon in what I was reading out and uh, not everyone would understand uh, what any of this means. So if you could please firstly explain to our viewers why are we even having this conversation today what's the big change and what pivot has india's development taken with the development of the vikram processor yeah hi devika um, so the way i look at it is uh, today tomorrow and day after there is a semicon conference happening in delhi and this is a fourth of its kind the fourth edition of the india semicon uh, and really speaking, I think this became news because of uh, that chip being presented to the Prime Minister and so on and so forth. This chip itself was probably fabricated and presented to ISRO back in March of 2025. And honestly, this is not definitely not India's first semiconductor chip or something. SAL, as you said in the introduction, has been fabricating chips since uh, the 1980s. Uh, neither is it probably India's most advanced chip because uh, this was 32-bit and there is already a 64-bit uh, iris that is through, I think, in collaboration with IIT Madras, uh, developed using another uh, architecture. Uh, you know, having said that, uh, and, and one more point before I get into get back into Vikram, uh, there are many more other things, uh, for example, over the last 26 months, um, we have approvals and incentives from the central government for eight packaging units, commercial high volume eight packaging units, uh, one big silicon based fab and one small silicon um, carbide based fab. These, in my opinion, is much more bigger developments and should have been much more highlighted for some reason. I think the whole jargon of first uh, chip or first of its kind is so chip and all got more attention. But, you know, be as it may, Back to the Vikram, um, as you said, uh, let's not get into the, the technical jargons there, but 
essentially it's a custom made chip for its rows use for harsh conditions because uh, in space you have temperatures pressures and whatnot which are much different from normal use and so this is a as a custom made chip and i believe uh, this very uh, concept of the very chip was there in a slightly previous version of a 16 bit which basically is you know previous generation if you want to call and now it's come out as a 32 bit which again is not the most sophisticated of the chip there are 64 bit is much more common but for ISRO's application, which is a specific one, uh, 32 bit is good enough. And they've come out with it for the first uh, time. And as you said, flight validated. So it's actually tested and proved. So that's the speciality. But I, I think it's a, only a small bit in the bigger picture of India's semiconductor journey having truly started. And in, okay. you know, in I the I'll, I'll come to the bigger picture.